Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here. If this is your first interaction with me, remember that we have a Facebook group, ASVAB Help Group Raise Your Score. That way you can get the ASVAB score you need in the supportive environment that we have. It's a family here, so come on and join to make sure that you get everything you need. So let's get started here. A jogger runs three and a half miles today and he plans to run half as many miles tomorrow. How many miles will the jogger run all together? All right, so with that said, go ahead, pause this video, give this one a shot, and then press play when you're ready. All right, let's go ahead and kill this thing here. So in this question, the answer is gonna be D, but here's why. First off, look at the answer choices and get your keywords in order. The keyword here is how many miles will the jogger run all together? All together, that is the keyword right there. And the word all together means, hey, everything together summed up. So the only question is, well, what are we adding up? Again, all together, that means add. And so I've got to ask myself, well, what am I adding? Well, it says that he runs three and a half miles today, and he runs half as many as that tomorrow. How many is he running all together? So we got three and a half miles plus half of that. So half of three and a half, and then we're good. If we add those two together, we're good. So I'm gonna show you a real easy way to do this. Here's a really nice and easy way to do this. Uh, three and a half, just think about this, and I know that this problem is a fraction, right? I know this problem is mixed fractions. I know this, I know this, I know this. But what I'm gonna ask you to do here is just write this as a decimal for one moment, because three and a half is pretty easy to see as 3.5. Now, what's half of 3.5? Here's what you can do. I'm gonna go ahead and try to find half, not of three and a half, but I'm just gonna write 3.5. Because remember, 3.5 is the same thing as three and 0 0.5. Now, why did I do that? Well, the reason I did that is because I'm gonna take half of three and half of 0 0.5. I'm gonna do it separately. I'm gonna do it separately. Or you can just do long division on the side for 3.5. Either way, guys, completely, completely, completely fine because what you're gonna receive is that this is 1.5 when you cut that in half, and this is gonna be 0 0.25. Bring those together, and you end up getting 1.75. Now that was the mental way of doing it, the mental math way of doing it. If you're not quite comfortable with mental math, that's all good, do your long division, and you're gonna see that we still get the same answer here. And so we drop that 15 down there, so two into 15, that gives us a seven. And so minus 14, we get that one, we bring that zero down, and then we get five. So we end up getting that 1.75 no matter what. But that wasn't the point. The point here is again, we're trying to add these two together. That was the goal here. So how many miles is that gonna be? Well, I know that 3.5 plus 1.75, what's that gonna give me? Well, that'll give me a five here, that'll give me a two there, and then that'll give me carry the one, 5.25. Only answer here that's greater than five is D. So you don't even have to know that five and one quarter is 5.25. You can infer that. You can use your intuition there and basically say, okay, look, only answer choice there that's greater than five is right there. But another way you can think about it is, well, 0.25, that's a quarter, 25 cents. So that can still be read as five and one quarter, not one half, excuse me. But there it is. So I hope you guys are really getting a feel for this. I hope you guys are really, you know, just making sure to read the problem, and, you know, correctly. Because I know that it's really a lot of pressure to get this math done right and quick. But really what's more important is that you analyze those key words the right way. Because at the end of the day, if you don't get the setup right, you're going to get the question wrong automatically. So you might as well take that extra second or two to understand what the question is asking you to do and make your plan. And from there everything else is speed. So with that said again, guys, I'm Anderson. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. You can find me in my Facebook group and you can find me at anderson at duranlearning.com. That is my email. Feel free to reach out. I'm always here to help you. We'll see you guys next time.